Hi, I'm Michael and welcome to Michael's Matters. And this week begins an important time of the year for those folks around the country who are not currently getting their health coverage through their employer or maybe their spouse's employer or their parents or some other institution. That's because starting next Monday, that's November 1st, is the one time of the year when you're able to opt into health coverage through the healthcare exchanges. So that's either Covered California, if you live here in California, or the federal marketplace, which is run through healthcare.gov for pretty much everywhere else in the country. Also, through these exchanges, it is possible to get extra help paying for your plan. For those of us who are living in California, this year's open enrollment is going to be extra unique because of the fact that for plans that start as of January 1st, it's the first time ever that you can actually get more assistance than your plan costs. So what that means in short is you might be able to get health coverage that costs you $0 a month. Interestingly enough, because of subsidies from the American Rescue Plan and because of the new generous California state budget for 2022, these new $0 plans are available not just for folks with the lowest income, but will actually cover many folks who are also in the middle class, like a family who are making up to $65,000 a year. So today we are talking about the covered California open enrollment period for health insurance that's going to start as of November 1st, that's next Monday. We're going to do a walkthrough to show you how you can actually get a $0 plan and talk about how to avoid the penalty that California still has for not having health coverage. Now, this is Michael's Matters. And before we get to it, if you like this information, if you find it interesting, if you find it helpful, if you find it useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you can get updates when our newest and most informative videos become available. All right, so today let's get everything started off with a real quick walkthrough for the Covered California Shop and Compare system uh, so that you can at least kind of see what the $0 plans look like and who's eligible for them and get a feel for the income and the household size and how all that works and what plans are available. Now, uh, what I want to emphasize first is that these plans that we're going to look at, they're not Medicaid or Medi-Cal plans as, uh, as the rest of the country calls them. So um, these are not plans for folks who have low income necessarily. Um, these kind of plans are really meant for kind of that middle class uh, person here in California who uh, maybe doesn't get health insurance for their work or they're self-employed, um, but their not income isn't so low that they're eligible for those other programs, but their income isn't so high that um, that they uh, that they can't get any help. So this is really going to be a great walkthrough just for those kind of middle income folks to look at what plans are available. Now, the other thing is that the plans available through Covered California, they are private health insurance plans. So those are companies that you probably have already had before, maybe through a spouse or on your own work or through your parents or in a different state. Um, and it could be those plans like a Blue Shield or a Blue Cross or Sharp, HealthNet, Molina, Kaiser, and a couple other plans that are available um, that maybe you've had before. The only difference is that they're available through Covered California. Now, the other thing is you can apply for Medi-Cal through Covered California if your income is low enough, but uh, that's not really what we're going to look at today. Ours is going to be for folks whose income is too high. Um, <clears throat> now, if you get health insurance through Covered California, um, the other thing is that for right now, or as of November 1st, when the plans start, when you choose a plan, it's going to start as of January 1st. So if you choose a plan for open enrollment as of November 1st, these plans we're going to look at, these are going to be for January 1st plans, uh, rather than a plan that's going to start 11-1 or 12-1. Um, and for Covered California, this is the actual uh, landing page for it. You just go to coveredca.com, C-O-V-E-R-E-D-C-A.com. And this will be the initial one page that you're going to come to. Um, you can go to this quick quote, but we're going to go to the more comprehensive quote, which is called Shop and Compare. Um, and we're going to look for 2022. And which are already available now. So even if it's not November yet, you can still kind of look at your plans that are available. Um, that's if you need to get a new plan through Covered California, or if you already have a Covered California plan and you want to kind of look at what the renewals are, this will be the shop and compare that you can use, or you can log into your Covered California account and look at the different benefits and the different costs for the next year. Now, the other thing that Covered California does is that uh, very different than it was back before the Affordable Care Act, Covered California, when they calculate your cost for your plan, it's really only based on four things. It's based on your age, your income, your household size, and location. So pretty much any other information other than that is not going to calculate for your cost for your plans. So they don't care whether you're a smoker or you're not a smoker or whether you're a marathon runner. They don't care if you've had any pre-existing conditions or you're in terrible health care, health shape. None of that is going to matter. All that really matters as far as price goes is going to be your age, your income, 
the number of people in your household, and where are you located. And the number of people in your household for the purposes of Cover California are those folks who are on your taxes. So it doesn't you're not going to include your uh, your roommate or uh, you know somebody else who's living there, but isn't really part of your household as far as taxes go. All right. So in this situation, uh, let's say zip code. You live here in California. Let's say you live in beautiful San Diego. So that's nine two zero five four. Um, the income will be at $65,000 a year. And it, let's say you have a normal household size of five people. So you got two parents uh, and three kids. So let's say 55, 54, uh, 22, 20, and say 19. Also, if you are pregnant or blind or disabled, you can check these boxes and they will um, there will be special circumstances that you may be eligible for other programs that you wouldn't normally be eligible for just off your income. So if you're pregnant or blind or disabled. Also, if someone isn't applying for a plan, you can just unclick these boxes. So they still need to be on there because they're going to be calculated uh, in, you know, the, the amount of assistance that you're going to get is based off the household size. So they're still going to be calculated on there if they're on your taxes. But if they're not getting covered, you can unclick them. But in our case, we're going to say everyone's going to be getting health care, which might be a pretty common situation this year with folks kind of not uh, not having going back to work just yet. Um, this just lets you know that you are not applying for coverage. And uh, this is just... I guess a, a middle page here. Now this one's actually pretty good. It, it will allow you to put in the name of your doctor and when the plans come up, it'll show you which plans cover the doctors that you have. So let's just choose a random doctor name. Dr. Smith seems like a pretty good doctor name. And Dr. Johnson. And uh, you, you've got your zip code and kind of the, the range in which they are in. This page, um, it doesn't seem all that useful, really. I, every time I change it around, nothing changes on the actual plan. So it might just be kind of something to make you feel good. Or at least kind of maybe get you thinking about um, what is going on in your healthcare situation before you look at the plans. And then, voila, here comes the plans. And it's going to come kind of disjointed. So you're going to have all different plans and all different levels by different carriers. And it can be a lot of information at once. Um, but what you can do is you can sort it by a variety of different options. So one is you can change it by HMO or PPO. Um, and if you are not sure what the difference between those two are, we'll talk about that another time. We also have a video on HMO versus PPO. Um, but one thing that is certain is that the HMO and PPO prices are quite different. Uh, PPO being considerably more expensive. Um, also, you can short, sort it by metal tier. So Covered California breaks down their plan levels, kind of like the Olympics, uh, by bronze and silver and gold and platinum, um, where the platinum plan is the most expensive plan and technically has the most coverage, and the bronze plan is the most basic plan and is the least expensive. Um, so you can sort that out. What we're going to look at right now, and where most folks are probably going to go, is the silver. If we look at the data from Covered California, the silver plan represents a huge percentage of people who enroll in Covered California get the silver plan with pretty good reason, primarily because of the fact that it's a plan that's right in the middle of the cost and then right in the middle of the benefits. Um, so it's kind of a happy medium that most folks get, uh, rather than uh, a gold or a platinum plan, which is more expensive, but kind of has more coverage in the bronze plan, which is super duper basic, just to pretty much get you out of the tax penalty. And yes, there's still a tax penalty here in California, uh, and to cover you for the case of something major and checkups and just basic things like that. So we chose a silver plan. Um, you could also sort it by deductible or by company as well. And you can see here on the silver plan that's available in San Diego for folks who make $65,000 and have a household of five people, um, you have Molina, you got HealthNet, you got Blue Shield. Uh, you got Kaiser, Sharp, uh, also HealthNet and Blue Shield here, which the big difference between the prices and also the type of the plans is the fact that these are PPOs versus these, versus these ones, which are HMOs. And there are some very good reasons why someone would want a PPO if you need it, um, but if you don't need it, it may not be the best option for you because you're going to be spending a whole boatload of more money for a plan um, that you might be able to get all the same things you need under an HMO, just you're kind of operating under maybe logic from the 90s when PPOs and HMOs were really drastically different um, but you know in the current world they're not hugely different as far as um, doctors and networks and those kinds of things so you can see here there are a variety of plans that are available in the area 
and they're all silver 73 plants. Um, so let's compare some of these plants. And the biggest difference you can see here is the price, really, and the doctor's networks. Uh, so you can see on this Molina plan, Dr. Smith and Dr. Johnson are both going to be available on Molina, whereas on HealthNet, Dr. Johnson and Dr. Smith are not. So just Dr. Johnson is, Dr. Smith is not. Uh, on Sharp, neither of them are. Or on Kaiser, neither of them are as well. So that's one difference. Price is another difference. And then if we compare the plan benefits, uh, another great thing about the Cover California kind of system is that all the plans are identical as long as they're within the same category. So for example, this Silver 73 plan, regardless of whether it's Molina or HealthNet or Blue Shield, they're all going to be same as far as benefits go. So there's no difference in the cost between, or the cost, there's no difference in the uh, benefits on any of those plans as long as they're a Silver 73 plan. Uh, and you can see that here, um, the total expense, because it calculates the monthly um, amount is different, um, but the actual, like yearly deductible, $3,700. Uh, separate drug deductible, $10. Uh, doctor's visits, $35 across the board. Specialists, so that's like heart doctors, uh, cardiologists, uh, lung doctors, bone doctors, kind of special doctors, $70 copay. Uh, lab tests, x-rays, MRIs, EKGs. Uh, those prices are all going to be set the same as well. Um, one difference is going to be on drugs. Uh, so although the actual co-pays are the same, the different drugs uh, are going to be might be different on different plans. So for example, your high blood pressure medication on Molina might be tier one, but on HealthNet it might be tier two. So it could vary that way, or it might only be available on HealthNet and not available on Molina or Blue Shield either. So technically they're the same, but there is some variance in the medications that you could take. And um, that goes for outpatient surgeries, uh, hospitalization. So those are all going to be the same. But one thing I also lastly want to mention about benefits is that for children, and that's folks who are under 19 years old, um, they are going to be eligible for free child vision and dental. It's automatically included on all children's plans. And in fact, it's included on all adults' plans. So you and me and pretty much anyone who has a plan through uh, Covered California is going to have children's dental and vision, uh, even if you're not a child. So if you're not a child, you won't be able to use it, but you're still paying into it um, for those folks who are children and who are using it. So let's go back to the other plan benefits and look at a couple other things. Uh, also, these plans, uh, there are star ratings for the different plans. I've actually had Molina, HealthNet, as well as Sharp, and Blue Shield, actually, <laughs> over the last, I don't know, five, ten years. Um, and I've not had a bad experience with any of them. Uh, I know folks, you know, any, any, any these are large companies, so there are people, if you go on the online and kind of look at uh, the ratings, every insurance company is going to have people who say they love them or people who hate them. Um, but I'll tell you, I personally have not had any issues with any of the three, the four that I've had. Um, so I'm not exactly sure how, my personal experience doesn't match these different stars, but um, there is uh, definitely something to that. So that is going to be on. Oh, also, I wanted to mention on here that you can see that the actual cost of this health net plan. So, for example, it says two hundred and sixty four dollars and fifty five cents. Well, the actual cost on this plan is two thousand three dollars, which is being covered by the state of California plus that 264. So it's actually $2,267 and some odd cents. It's not actually 264. Um, in the case of Molina, uh, the actual cost of the plan is less than the amount of subsidy that someone's getting. And I'm not going to get into the deep end on how subsidies are calculated, but it's basically based off this one. Um, but because this plan is less expensive, it means that you are getting more subsidy. So from the uh, American Rescue Plan and some of the different California budgets that just came out. So you're getting more subsidy than the actual plan costs. So that brings your cost down to zero dollars. Um, and so that, that subsidy is applied equally to all the plans, regardless of whether it's bronze, silver, gold, or platinum. Um, but in the case where the subsidy is more than how much the plan costs, then um, you won't pay any money monthly for it. Uh, now, you're still going to pay the co-pays when you go see the doctor and specialists and uh, emergency rooms, um, but the actual monthly cost is going to be covered by the state as long as it's less than the amount of subsidy that someone's getting. Um, and that goes for the bronze level plan. So on the bronze level, the benefits are very basic. Again, it's just to basically give you three doctor's visits, uh, your uh, checkup, and to get you out of the tax penalty. Um, so 
the bronze plant is the least expensive because it provides the least amount of coverage, but it's good if maybe um, you're super duper healthy, you're not concerned about your health, maybe you're really young and you just, you know, you don't really care uh, about your health and you just want to kind of avoid the tax penalty or, um, it, or the price looks right, which it does for zero dollars for Sharp and Molina and Kaiser, as well as HealthNet. So um, that's also a good option for those folks who are not super concerned, or maybe don't ha- who are in super good health and they just don't, you know, they just want to have a checkup or if they need to go see a doctor for the flu or something like that and get a bronze plan. Um, on the gold plan, those prices are going to go up a little bit more, and then also the platinum plan, which has better coverage, um, is going to be the most expensive out of all of them. And again, if uh, there's interest in it, I can go through each of the plans kind of piece by piece and really go through and talk about the different benefits on all of them. Um, But uh, just as a general knowledge, bronze is least expensive, silver is less expensive and most popular, gold is more expensive and is better than the gold, sort of, and the platinum is supposedly the best, but it's also going to be the most expensive. So that's kind of the walkthrough for it. Um, if you have questions about those things or things come up, you're more than happy to put them in the chat, and I will be uh, happy to go over those different questions and uh, answer them the best that I can out of all the research that I've done on the different program. If you do want to apply, you just hit the Add button. It'll add it to the cart, and you can walk it through. Uh, it'll walk you through all the different steps to get applied for the coverage, and we'll do a, a, an application coverage video uh, at some point here in the near future as open enrollment begins. Now, this has been Michael's Matters, and I hope that you found it interesting or helpful or at least useful. And if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you can get updates when our newest and most informative videos become available. So for Michael's Matters, I'm Michael, hoping that you take care of yourself, take care of others, and have a happy, healthy day.